What's up guys, Max Forte here today with Shaq in the new fragrance line, Santa Lucia from Teaching Men's Fashion, Jose Suniga. Let's see if this one is all it's cracked up to be. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte. You guys know what I keep you in the know. Today we're talking about a new release, a new launch, as you saw from the thumbnail, as you saw from the introduction of this video, it's going to be from Teaching Men's Fashion, Jose Zuniga. Now this fragrance line is brand new. It's launching today, the time I'm shooting this, which is April 10th, but you're probably not gonna watch this video until a couple days down the line, so chances are it could be potentially sold out because he did release a fragrance last year called Ashore, which sold out within two hours. But that's a different conversation. Today we're talking about the new one, Santa Lucia. We're gonna go over the concept, each one of the fragrances, if they smell like something you guys know already, and if it's worth you guys checking them out. So let's hop right into the fragrances. So let's talk about the concept here. So the concept of this fragrance line, Santa Lucia, is basically three fragrances for each occasion. We have one that's called Every Day, another one that's called To Conquering, and one that's called come closer. So basically, every day is something that you would wear, you know, every day for casual events, you know, running errands, maybe like a signature scent type, you know, type of style of a fragrance. To conquering is something that you want to smell like the boss, the CEO, you want to really stand out and make a great statement. And of course, come closer, something for romantic settings, dates, something that you want to be seductive and attractive. Well, let's break these down, shall we? So basically the concept is an attempt that Jose Suniga is claiming that will make your lives easier. All you need really is these three fragrances, which will cover every single occasion and scenario in your life, of course, so that you can smell great and make a great statement about yourself. So as you see, the presentation is actually pretty well made. It's a nice box and each fragrance has its own little spot along with a card that they come with which explains exactly what each fragrance represents, the notes and which occasion you'd actually wear them for. By the way, each one of these fragrances is actually a 20% concentration Eau de Parfum and they were actually blended and made in France. So here's a card that they come with. This is called the Everyday and it has predominant notes of grapefruit, cardamom and cedar wood. Now, when I spray this particular fragrance, you can see the sprays are actually pretty good. You can't control the projection here of the, um, the atomizer, depending on how hard or how you know, low you press the sprayers. This one actually smells really good. It reminds me of a blue scent. Obviously, you know, grapefruit is a note that really is energizing, really uplifting and refreshing. So the grapefruit is really up front and center here. The cardamom make things a little bit spicy. And the cedar wood is that woody base. It's really, um, present in the fragrance from beginning to end. This fragrance will develop, and to be honest, all the fragrances have been tried. I've been trying them, you know, running errands or different occasions and settings, nightwear, daywear. Everyday is something, as the name would imply, great for everyday wear, signature scent. I would classify this as a woody, aromatic, fresh type of a fragrance. There is some spiciness here provided by the cardamom, and of course, the cedar wood is also present throughout the life of the fragrance. Grapefruit is awesome up front. As you guys know, grapefruit is something very energizing, uh, very uplifting, and they did actually a quite good job on this, you know, blue kind of scent. If you like fragrances like Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, this is not gonna be more of the same, but it's in the same classification or genre. Good stuff right here, definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have To Conquering, which is a grapefruit, pepper, oak moss, and patchouli type of a fragrance. This is your boss, CEO type of a fragrance, a fragrance that you want to wear when you truly want to make a great first impression. You want to make a statement as you walk into a room. And this will definitely give you that edge because the fragrance is very spicy, it's peppery, the patchouli is rather earthy. This to me, it doesn't smell like a Ventus, but if I had to give you like a, a roundabout of a fragrance that this would remind me of. It has that powerful, you know, likability that Aventus possesses. This would be like an Aventus Noir kind of thing. Again, it does not smell like Aventus. Don't take that literally, but it's actually those type of fragrances. It's actually very nicely put together. The earthy patchouli along with the oak moss gives this fragrance this earthy and green kind of a tinge to it. It's actually very, very nice, very powerful. I got eight to 10 hours with all these fragrances. They do project very strongly. So I'd say eight to 10 hours if you spray your clothes and they do project very well for the first two to three hours. So performance was actually quite surprising with all these fragrances. And all three references here have this really nice, uh, powerful character about them. They're not your run of the mill fragrances, which is something that I wanna give kudos to this particular brand because they actually took the time to put together something that's not more of the same. And last but not least, we have a fragrance called Come Closer. And as you would think, you know, the name, 
This is going to be a fragrance that's going to be linked to romantic settings, dates, those type of things. This is bergamot, Turkish rose, iris, and sandalwood. Now the iris here is not gonna give you a Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense kind of a vibe. It's actually very well blended with the rose. The rose is the star player of this fragrance. It is quite nice. This is the most niche-like of all three fragrances. I really enjoy this one, it develops crazy on the body, it transitions awesomely. It starts off really rosy, really full, really uh, velvety, but then it transitions to this spicy, woody kind of a dry down. When I smell this fragrance, two fragrances come to mind. If you like the fragrance from Amouage called Lyric Man, if you like Kieran NYC Rose Ink, you're definitely gonna appreciate this fragrance. Again, the most niche of the three, all three very mass appealing, very alluring, very inviting, this one here no different. Really good quality in the stuff. And like I said, as soon as you spray one of these fragrances, if you're a frag head, if you have a seasoned nose, you're going to attest the quality, the power, and the nice blend that each one of these fragrances had. I'm not just saying that, guys. I'm keeping it 100 and letting you know these fragrances actually surprised me. I thought this was gonna be more of the same. And believe me, I've tried a lot of different uh, YouTuber releases over the past three, four years. And this stuff here so far is actually really good with exception of other two uh, releases that I, that I did enjoy from other YouTubers, but a conversation for a different day, perhaps I'll do like the best YouTuber releases over the year. But this stuff here, really good quality, really good performance, very, very nicely blended. And the thing about these fragrances, you can buy them singularly, you can buy them individually. It's 150 bucks, I believe, per bottle, or you can get the set, the one that I shared with you here today, for $300. If you guys wanna pick this up, there is a code, which is max, just max, simply max, it's gonna give you 10% off at checkout, whether you get an individual bottle or you go with the set. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoy this little review here on the whole Santa Lucia brand. I think it's definitely worth checking out. It's something if you're looking for fragrances for different occasions and styles and you don't want to think too much, these will fit all occasions that they're set out to do. I think they did a quite good job. Again, kudos to Teach a Men's Fashion, Jose Zuniga, for putting out an actual really good uh, fragrance collection for frag has or for non-frag has that just want to, you know, an easier way to smell great without having to think too much. We all know the market today is flooded with new releases, so it's nice when you know someone can make your life a little easier. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today on Teaching Men's Fashion, Santa Lucia brand, guys. As always, details below. Don't miss out. The stuff usually sells out pretty quickly. If you guys appreciate what I do here, don't forget to leave your support. It's always greatly appreciated. I keep you in the know. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and touch a little bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. As always, remember, fragrance is an extension of who you are. It elevates your style, so be sure to choose your fragrance wisely and wear it well. I'll see you guys right back here with another video very soon. Take care.